Okay, here we are. We are doing our first function. Um, so a, a function, well, everything that you do in C is done in a function. So far, we've been doing everything in the, the function main, or because this is Microsoft under bar T main. Um, now we're going to create our, our own function, a new function. Uh, we're going to start with one called func. So we start off with this keyword void, func. Uh, semicolon and then just like with main or the contents of our function goes in between curly braces now the void there just means that the function doesn't return anything uh, and we'll talk more later about what return means but <clears throat> all that means is the function is not going to return anything and our function is just going to be a very simple function I'm going to use put string put s actually I'm going to use printf printf in func. So I'm just going to print a message that says that I'm in this function. And that's it. Very simple function. That's all it's going to do. And then in main, I'm going to do a couple of print statements. First, I'm just going to print and say I'm starting. Uh, starting main. Oops, that's not right. Need a backslash in there. So starting main, and then I'm going to call my function. And then I'm going to print f, and I'm going to say that I am ending main. Okay, ending main. Great, right, let's uh, let's build that, and we'll just run it and have a look. So as you can see, I'm in my main. I execute that first printf statement, and it prints starting main. Then I call the function. And in the function, it executes that, that printf statement in func. And then I return back to my main program, and I go on and execute the next statement, which is another printf, saying ending main, and I finish. And that's exactly what I see in my window. So that's, it's as simple as that. Now, uh, one thing that we like to do is or it's best practice to have our, our function implementation after main or even in a totally separate file. And to do that, if I do it just like that and I try and build, I'll get an error. So I can see there, uh, error, func identifier not found. And that's simply because the compiler reads through from top to bottom. And it gets to this func here, this where I call the function, and that hasn't been defined yet. It doesn't recognize it. So the, the compiler complains saying, I don't know what this is. I can't execute it. So what we need to do is up here, tell the compiler that there's uh, we're going to use a function called func. So that's what we call a uh, definition or declaration. And it's uh, actually, we'll sometimes call it a forward declaration because it's put forward of the, of the main, forward of the function. And then this is what we call the implementation. Now, so uh, up here, basically what this declaration is, is a promise. I'm telling the compiler, look, you don't know what this is yet. But I promise I'm going to provide an implementation later on somewhere else. It's a function called func, and it doesn't return anything. That's why it's, it has that void keyword there. So the compiler says, OK, you made that promise. I believe you. Uh, comes through, and it comes uh, on func when it's doing its compilation step. And it says, well, I don't know what this is, but I have a, a declaration. I have a promise that it will be implemented later on somewhere else. And it's going to be a void 
function with no parameters. And so it's happy the compiler goes ahead. And then after it finishes main, it finds the definite or the implementation of func down here, just as I promised, and everything works. So now that I've got that forward declaration, I can build it and you'll see the build works. And it runs just exactly as it did before. Okay, so that's simply uh, changing this so I have a forward declaration for my function. So we've created a function that doesn't return anything called func. And uh, it just, all it does is print a message just so that we can satisfy ourselves that we're in the function. Okay, so that is our first simple function.